Did you, did you check yeah. uh, Dan's messages about Fortnite? Yeah. Hey, Austin, they tightens up the shooting on Fortnite. <laughs> Dan, I love you, but it's never going to happen. That's what they said about the Hiddenberg. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that message, but I didn't see this. <laughs> they really tightened up the graphics on level three. <laughs> hidden bird. That's what they said about the hidden bird. Hey, men. <laughs> see, the problem is after the third of this, you're not going to want to hear the preacher voice anymore. And I only have like two voices. Mm -hmm. I know that feel, dog. And then it's like, well, what do you do? Then you go neutral. You just have no voices then, and then it's let's, let's just less fun, right? You gotta be in the rind, right rind might might yeah. <laughs> The right rind might. This is gonna be the worst quip last <laughs> segment. <laughs> yeah, right I mean, rind mine. It just used up all, all of our uh, improvisational abilities. I have to make up a new voice. That's how you do it? Help me yeah, make like, up a new voice. I'm real bad at voices. Uh, just do something insane. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, that was that good. good. Mm -hmm. Somebody's probably uh, going to clip that, aren't they? Probably, yeah. I like that sound New very sub much. sound, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty, yeah. Let's go. Turn around. Yeah. Every now and then I get a little bit. That's a new, a new bit. We try to simultaneously sing a song. <laughs> is that new? That, no, I feel like we've done like, a few of that one. Really? <laughs> that's like a very common bit. I got a great idea. Ooh, okay. What if we... You know how there is cheese that is smoked? Okay. What if we smoked cheese? Oh. Bro. When? <laughs> Fucking all day, every day. Right? Unless you're a cop or something. Yeah, are so you guys not really every day? day. <laughs> you're making it a little faster? I'm just eating a little from under. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ew. From down under? <laughs> it's an Australian cheese. <laughs> Eating smegma off your balls. I, guys, no oh, I don't have those. any smegma. I'm circumcised. It doesn't mean you can't have smegma. Yeah, it kind of does. I think it does. It doesn't. Where are you building up some dick cheese then? There's no place for it to build. Can you make Rob. dick cheese? <laughs> Can, you, <laughs> Can you still get smegma? Go -do 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 -do. <laughs> There's no place to store dick cheese. Wow. <laughs> I actually, so the top article in Google is, is dick cheese actually good for you? Oh, come, come on. on. <laughs> stop that. Stop that. <laughs> Can we issue a stop that? <laughs> yeah, we should definitely get a stop that on that one. That's not a good joke. This is, this is bad. I'm excited to see how that uh, plays. <laughs> All right. Can't wait. Yeah, yep. Can't wait! What's that? It's an old uh, Bart Scott quote. Oh, Bart Simpson. Is, uh, Eat pan. Former Jets player. The interviewer was like, uh, hey, how, how do you feel about uh, moving on to next week? And then he grabbed the mic and went, can't wait! Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, do you think you have uh, have what it takes to go up against mm. them next week? Can't wait. Time's running out. Just kept going with it. The no. Pros of smegma. It's a naturally occurring lubricant that can presumably unwittingly aid couples He's during done penetration. It. Nice. Unwittingly. That oh, danged yeah. smegma has done it again. <laughs> <laughs> Tricked That's me. That's the only pro. <laughs> Tricked me into penetrating my spouse. <laughs> <laughs> Elections would be a whole lot better if instead of debates we made the candidates better, or if we made the candidates spin around real fast then run the 100 meter dash. So one's a real answer and the other one's better. <laughs> did you subvert me just now? I think I did. He subverted the shit out of you. The old uh, analyst really has a rule. No. The hardest part of having five secret families. Everybody is always preggers or coming out as a Mormon to them. Every Mormon, there's a <laughs> Church of Latter day Saints, and uh, and you gotta wear the temple garb. <laughs> That's a tough one to get yeah, out of. Yeah, 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 you, you yeah. shoe on yourself. Again. Joseph Smith discovered golden <laughs> plains in the backyard that was beside his uncle's farm. Is that, that what happened? He discovered every golden Mormon. Plains. Yeah. Yeah. And he would only read Pray them when God, he was baby. in private. Don't say a word. 
<laughs> Night, Lynn. Mormon Good is night, one. Lynn. A rejected name nipples. for nipples. Boopy bits or milk discs. Thank you for saying good night, Lynn. Chat. Good night, Lynn. Chat. Good night, Lynn. <laughs> subverted him again. That's all subverted. we do. Is subverted. Get fucking subverted. Hey, cat, can you fuck off? <laughs> you tell him. He's behind the monitor, going like, I'm behind the monitor. I'm behind the monitor. <laughs> you. Yeah, I know. I'm behind the monitor. It's time. The title of an erotic movie for elephants: Junk in the Trunk or Trunk Squirters Eight Never Forget. No, don't eat the acoustic foam. That's <laughs> why you can't be there. You're no. a bad boy. I'm behind the monitor. Which one has the one that Rob said is the bad joke happened yet? Yeah. Okay. It's what in was it? Here. <laughs> so it's, it's mine. It's, it's, no, oh, it's, was that? Okay. It's Trunk Squirters Eight. Never yeah. forget. Oh, dude, Chat's got it. Fudge right. Pachyderms. That's it. That's, oh, that's, yeah. that's yeah. actually yeah. the objectively best answer. And yes, uh, Mormons do worship Kranto. Yeah. <laughs> Krantu, excuse me. Kran Is it Krantu? Krantu. I don't even remember. Yeah, it was Krantu. <laughs> so did we God. establish Krantu is just someone you made up, or is that from something else? Krantu, it's Xenu's, uh, well, it's see, right. the thing is, is like when Xenu was defeated on uh, Nappa, um, <laughs> we, yeah. we thought we Wait, were done Zeno with him. Xenu was never defeated? But then many oh, years later, too. Krantu showed up and was like, uh -huh. hey, I'm Xenu's dad. It's deepest lore. The souls got sucked into the volcano, right? And then they came across and pulled them out because it was like right, an Right, but the part that, that you didn't know about, and this is secret in Scientology, is that the necromancer, the grand necromancer of the order came up and he said, uh, Xenu Verada Krantu, and then Krantu <laughs> oh! was born of the flames, yeah. Krantu of the flames, you I didn't the, remember no, that part. <laughs> Sorry. My name is Krantu. The, big the, the biggest is secret a chimpanzee has told Jane Goodall. He like Ooh. likes her, or I know what I'm doing when I jerk off. All praise Krantu of the Flames. Krantu of the Flames, yeah. Dude, uh, Nick, fuck the Bloodborne boss that's just a pile of limbs. Which is, I guess, all yeah. of them, but particularly the one that is a pile of limbs and opens portals that drop limbs on you from I the sky. I know. Fuck that dude, I man. I said on my stream the other day, I don't know how you're rocking through the game like it's not even hard. And, like, you keep going in like... This is gonna be easy, and then you kill it in two in two tries. Every single thing I struggled with, you just killed. Feels and then you get to the limb boss, which I actually killed quickly for some reason, and that's the one you have trouble with. He's a piece of garbage, man. If you pull your uncle's finger, he farts. If you push it, he sucks things into his ass, or he becomes your new dad. I like the idea that he's like, pull my finger, and then you push it. He's like, no, 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 no! <laughs> hey, son. Well, there goes the whole LED TV. I hope you're happy. The worst thing to paint on a new baby's nursery wall. Slender Man or 1,000 other babies as camouflage. I hope that Katrina draws Krantu of the Flames today. Yeah, me too. You're pretty good. Can it be Krantu of the Old Flame? Because that sounds cooler. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, your next game should be like uh, Dark Souls boss or real title in Europe. Posing as a Real, oh, Arch like a landowner title? Like well, like, you know, Archbishop Legarius. Oh, <laughs> but like, they'll all be Gra Dark Souls 3 characters. Grand Maester <laughs> of the First Kiln. It's actually the Luxembourgian Minister of Finance. What a bad undercover cop posing as a teen says. Do you know the way? Or how's it going, fellow kids? Is that meme, like... Still kicking around, or is that no, dead? not at all. Well, it's it is an SOS. Me, I'm not doing it <laughs> Every SOS game, people go, Do you know the way? And then the person behind them is like, <laughs> I feel like that is like a Game of Thrones in there. Like, uh, every person who's made a Do you know the way joke thinks they're the first person to make a. I feel like you hit the peak of that game with it's Tony Hawk and it's Tony Hawk's dad. Yeah, I think like that, that, very unfortunate it was that short, but. That was the peak. That was a really good moment. Um, now it sucks because it takes six minutes to queue. Come up with a classic novel with this word in the title, pump. The chat asked what SOS is. It's like a game show version of like Survivor, but a battle royale kind of. You like get some stuff on an island and then you run to a chopper and get extracted. But you got to talk on a radio, which is fun. He had to say over all the time. 
No, <laughs> I ran into the character limit and the time limit simultaneously. <laughs> Pump, 1969, Pump on Pop, Pump Up the Jams, The Origin of Jelly, or The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry. It was gonna be Huckleberry Pump. Oh, can I vote for it even though it's not written? I mean, I did. Alright, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be so mad if it wins. It's going to now. Why have such a small character limit? I don't know either. It's smaller than Twitter. Especially now. Yeah, it's smaller than old Twitter. Dude, I'm so happy we're past the age. Although, now that I mention it, I'm probably just going to make this tweet after the show ends. Remember when <laughs> they made multi-line 280 character tweets and everybody just tweeted a lot of empty space and periods to be as annoying as possible? Yeah, yeah. I think I might just tweet that after the show. It's like one really, really obnoxious big tweet. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. You should do that. I don't Take want you to page. do that. Everybody else fucking did it. No, I never did it. God My turn. Damn it. it won. <laughs> Of course it did. This game sucks. <laughs> That's how it works. But Nick still wins. Yeah. Nice. Nick attack. Did they mention Bear being on me IRL? We did indeed. We've had a lot of uh, a lot of content go viral this year. There was when uh, Nick and I tweeted about 420 not falling on Friday the 13th. That one went viral. And then um, I'm very proud of that still. <laughs> when me and Mouth hit Austin with the car in PUBG. That got reposted at like. <laughs> it's got like millions of views. Yeah, it got freebooted on Facebook and now it has like 10 million views or something like that. And Connor, this one's for you. I never talked about Darling in the Franks for the whole show. <laughs> I, I hope you're very happy, happy about that. What? The guy was like, ugh, I can already imagine how this is gonna go and I don't wanna tune in. I was like, come on, man. No, Connor McGregor? Dude, dude oh. Connor McGregor? I haven't seen him since the Hiddenberg. <laughs> and you thought my Irish accent was bad. <laughs> it's not Irish. <laughs> it's New I'm, Zealand? I'm from Cheyenne. <laughs> I just talked oh. like this. I saw Thor and Rockman is wonderful. Oh, Korg yeah. or whatever his name is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, he's good. It's also the director, by the way. Yeah. That Taika Watiti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, a Jawa. Pretty good. It's a Jawa good. saying his name. Mm -hmm. The most pointless thing to strap a GoPro camera on. Oh my god. I'm fucking sorry. God. We all just got claimed by Nintendo. <laughs> the most pointless <laughs> thing to strap a GoPro camera on. Grandma or a Tesla orbiting the Earth? Rob just sent everyone in chat into a fucking Pokemon battle. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to see that one. Da, 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 da. Oh, I thought that was Mission Impossible for a second. <laughs> da, 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 da. That That's James Bond. That's Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible. James Bond is evolving. This mission is impossible. This mission is impossible. It's like you've never heard the song. Remember, when dining at a sushi restaurant, you should never ever eat it off a naked woman that wasn't there. Eat it off a naked woman that <laughs> then wasn't there. <laughs> or kill your entire family with a 9mm barrel. Oh, yeah, bringing that one back. This is. I feel like this is why we can't play Quiplash 2. It has like four prompts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, we've been playing Quiplash 1 forever now, and I think we haven't gotten a repeat prompt in a while. Oh, were we playing Quiplash 1? Oh, we were yeah, playing we Quiplash, Quiplash XL. XL. We can switch to that. A dangerous, a dangerous thing, thing I mean, for a drone to deliver to you. you Bitcoin or nice sushi lady table. <laughs> oh, the old still. double, double prompt. I just Ryan? had a great idea that we need Ryan. to go. Yeah, what's up? You did not read that, right? Nude sushi lady table. You said nice sushi lady table. Nice. Nice sushi lady table. Excuse me. <laughs> nice sushi lady table. table. Nice sushi lady table. Now I'm saying it wrong. Guys, sushi I had a nice great table. I'm gonna offer you guys 25% stake in my business, 100 grand each. You ready? Okay. Right. It's DoorDash with drones. Drone Dash. Yeah. The driver no longer has to get paid, but Drone Dash, they take DoorDash's 25% cut, they lower it to 24%. The audience oh. saves the audience saves the whole tip. Drone Dash. I, and I your tip is gasoline. I, I got an idea, and this is maybe why you'd want to give me a little bit more equity here. We can cut costs super easily here. Affix oh, a drone to it, 
have the government subsidize it, and then with facial recognition they could uh, analyze threats <laughs> and murder people who order in from Drone Dash. Le boots. Which ones do we murder? A new fragrance by Gerard Depardieu or Trash? A new fragrance by Gerard Depardieu. Trash. Le trash. Le trash. You know, I really trash is a, a very evocative word for what garbage is, but I yeah. love the term refuse. It's like you're being <laughs> polite to the garbage. <laughs> it's like no, it's not. It's not trash. It's refuse. Do you not see refuse as light trash? That's round it's trash-like, yes. Tra it's trash meaning light. not hey. like organic hey. decomposing stuff so much as like little bits of paper and stuff well, that doesn't that really stink it up. that should be in the compost, if you love planet Earth. I'm just saying. I'm playing a new trash-like today on today's episode of Trash-likes, and your mother's a whore. Exactly. Don't call people trailer trash, call them trailer refuse. It's just nice. <laughs> it's like, uh, <laughs> picture like a... Like in a 1980s movie, the wealthy British industrialist. <laughs> oh, it stinks of white refuse here. <laughs> I'm gonna have this whole place bulldozed. And build luxury condos. The countryside is filled with recreational vehicle refuse. <laughs> the strangest party favors at a bachelorette party would be penis-shaped bride or penis-shaped man. <laughs> <laughs> Groom, I think, is the word you're looking for. <laughs> Bride is very interesting. How did this whole story happen? Dark Souls boss. Alternative punchline, <laughs> you are what you eat. I would order so much more DoorDash. Dick Dash. If I didn't have to pay the driver $4. Male sounds, prostitutes for order. It sounds crass, but... I'm happy paying the wealthy owners of DoorDash their 25%, as they long as I don't have to pay to the, the dude slot. who actually drives it. The worst thing to say, well, you don't even have to see their face. Stick their butt in the mail slot, bam, bam, done. What if you want to be the butt, though? The worst thing to say while being tortured, don't hurt me, I'm Ryan, or is that the best you got? Mail slot's got two sides, all I'm saying. Is that the best you got is, like, what all action movie yeah. torture scenes, like... Like that scene in uh, Casino Royale where he's smacking him in the nuts. Dude, that is the worst. <laughs> Tell your mom I said hi. I'll never forget that torture scene in Casino Royale. That is so detrimental. Just like swinging it right into the nuts. It is weird having like a, like a super Achilles heel as a man. Like if you get kicked in the nuts, like it has, it's been a long time, but if you've been hitting the nuts like really hard, you just like, you can't move. And you're just like, you're on the verge of puking and sweating. The name yeah, of a horse- I can't imagine anything that females have that would even remotely <laughs> well, compare. The yes. name of a horse you should never bet on, Elmer or Eggfather. Look, all Rob's saying is that men have it much harder than women. That's very <laughs> true, yeah. And if you got a problem with that, shut up. We don't talk politics on this stream. Who wants to walk around on a glass floor? You can see all the refuse below you. <laughs> 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 Did you just he, call all women refuse? <laughs> he did. Yeah. <laughs> he really did. A weird dad keeps all of his children's blanks as memories. All of his children's children as memories, or all of his children's bones as memories. Oh. Parents do keep their kids' teeth a lot, though, don't they? Yeah, my mom kept my teeth. Yeah, same. Is that weird? I think it's That's a really little weird. weird yeah. Yeah. She also kept a little of my hair from my first haircut. And it's got well, like. I get why, though. It's got its own specialized, like, picture frame that I guess they sold at Sears or something like that. They it's, sold your hair at Sears? It's got, well, it's got a little picture of me, and then there's a little spot for the hair to be in there as well. You and then to burn that, because that could be used as voodoo magic against it. That's true. Actually, did you guys ever do the thing where they put your, your feet prints and your hand prints in the yeah. clay or whatever? And then they sold them at Sears. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, they sold, <laughs> to my mom. What weirdos want to... <laughs> Hey, here's a here's a footprint of babies. So See, we we did that for our like dogs and cats as they died to like remember them. So oh, that's, that's a little weird for like doing that as as people. as they died. Yeah, that's horrible. <laughs> like right before they died. No, I mean, what? you're gonna get it done before you know they're dying. What? Well, whether you know, yeah. you can like take them after they're dead. Yeah. Maybe they did. I don't know. Or what, at any point while they're alive, <laughs> literally as they were giving the injection. All right, it's not like it was that ridiculous. Jeez. Yeah, I don't want to keep, like, any keepsakes. I used to, like, hoard just small objects until one day I was like, why, why the fuck do I have, like, this, uh, this weird fancy, like, beer tapper yeah. on my, uh, in my room? I'm just throwing the shit out. Like, are you a bird? Yeah, exactly. 
My mom oh, keeps little animal dead. bones. I don't know why she What? Oh, that's weird. She finds all the animal bones in the yard and she just, like, puts them inside the house. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with your parents? <laughs> Does she, like, boil them? No, it's just... <laughs> Just make, make some raccoon stuff. Well, just like raccoon. rather they be clean. <laughs> Keeps a feather. She puts him in her car. What? She finds a big f bird feather. She'll put it in the car. I don't know why. W where in the car? Like That's in the question. front by the dashboard. Because I guess it reminds her of flying. I don't know. Many enemas for mother. <laughs> Marcellus Ennis Manfred. Mike eats men or moderate eye movement. If I ever order like an Uber and the driver has feathers at the front. I'm getting the hell out. What if he has glued through, uh, like, the uh, the over the entire the surface silver. area of the car just his toenail clippings over the years? What no. if he replaced the locks with spikes <laughs> so when you Dude. tried to grab them, you couldn't unlock the car yourself? I think I've mentioned this before, but, like, that shit freaked me out so much when I was a kid that I would, anytime I ever got in a cab, I would always, that would be the first thing I checked. The bone collector. Yeah. It's a movie about Nick's mom. I don't know why she keeps the feathers. I want, like, any dead animal parts. I don't want them. And yeah. she's like, no, I'll take them. Robert you guys wins. ever have to do... Nice, wreck attack. Wait, no, Robert doesn't win. Nick Who won? Nick won? <laughs> yeah, oh, Nick won. wins. Yeah. Oh, thank you, guys. Stars with an I mean, you guys could still wreck attack if you like. Part of some jaw. I don't even know what animal it is. Probably, like, a raccoon or a squirrel or something. Yeah, but, like, that's, like, don't... That's not okay? <laughs> I mean, when I was a kid, I found some rat bones. What'd you put do with them? Bag. Put them in a bag. Put them in a bag, oh. right? Yeah, that's what you do with those. I was like, Actually, what I found. They were like, that's gross. It's like, oh. Similarly, I had hermit crabs when I was a little kid. I really loved those hermit crabs. Like, I was yeah. super into them. And so when they died, I was very sad. Mm. And I, I kept them in the, fr in the freezer until we could find a place to have a proper burial for them. Oh. And then... And then that never happened. They were just in my freezer for months. Oh, <laughs> that's bad. Yeah. Jesus. I got a question. How do you know when hermit crabs die? Because they never move anyway. They move. They, they, move. they walk around. Yeah. Because I don't know. My friend had hermit crabs, and every time I went over and just looked at them, they were just. He, he may as well just had a cage with shells in them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe he tricked you. <laughs> I don't know. That's a good prank. I do owl pellet dissections at work, and the kids like to keep the bones. Huh. You guys ever do those, uh, like at like a, a science museum or something, where they have like a sandbox and you have to like go in with like paleontology brushes and and wipe away the sand to find. We the, were gonna do that in elementary bones. school, and then they canceled it when it was our year. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, we were we were mad. Our whole grade it, was. It's mad. a lot of fun. Check. You, you get some like plastic yeah. bones in there. You know, like when a kid does something, you go like, okay. It's their Sorry, kids. When an adult photo, does something, you go, that's not okay. But what you got to realize is that, you know, this is once you're an adult, you'll if you get hit by some kind of impact, it just stays with you forever. Like, you know, you're like the moon getting hit by asteroids. So you're like, hey, I don't know, they're 50 and they collect animal bones. Something must have happened that makes that feel like the right thing to do. <laughs> Who am I to judge, really, at this point? Yeah. And now probably thinks rock collectors are traumatized. No. But somebody in chat said their dad keeps random pictures of roadkill around. And I go, okay, something happened there that, <laughs> like, your brain broke a little bit, and then it's scarred over, and that's a section of your brain that's like, I need to keep a picture of this roadkill around. I get it. Okay, here we go. Uh, they're also First minerals, Marie. <laughs> well, if, we use only <laughs> well, if they're minerals, they're minerals. Sometimes it's just rocks. True. If we only use 10% of our brains, what's the other 90% doing? Thinking about the failures of our fathers or being horny? You know what I kind of also insane. did not like about the last Black Mirror episode? Okay. What? They did the we only use X percent of our brain thing. Yeah. yeah. But I didn't like that I either. think they yeah. did it. Like, they're like, it's not 10% though, it's 40%. And I was like, that doesn't make it right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's still like... <laughs> Like, yeah. you, you can't just get away with it. Unless you say it's 100%, in which case, sure. Well, it could be a fictional universe where that's actually a true fact. Yeah, but then, <laughs> got then that's like... That's like, Star Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> that's like Star Wars levels of, of explaining away through I agree. War, you know? I'm just giving them the only excuse they have at this point. Mm. 
What'd you guess is an unadvertised ingredient in most hot dogs? Real meat or hot? I guess definitionally that is advertised, isn't it? The hot, I mean. Mmm, yeah. Yeah, it's right in the title. You ever eaten a cold hot dog? I try to avoid it, but I've done so. I have, yes. You ever had a lukewarm wiener? <laughs> yeah, lukewarm pretty frequently, not so much cold. I've had a body temperature one, but I don't know, it's, uh, maybe I'm related to the, what the story is. Yeah, well. A rejected name for the Segway. Scoot Jet or the Smegway. Nice. <laughs> squeaky squeak. <laughs> Yo, you think that's a squeak? Get ready. Oh, oh, reverse. Oh. Wasn't so bad, honestly. I was the okay with guess. it. Gotta get some. What'd you say? I gotta make like a. There's a creepy voice that fits here. It's like. <laughs> I'm gonna try a character out. Okay. Hurry up, Brian. We're having some old friends for dinner. <laughs> Yeah, I hate that. I think All right, he's yeah. filming what? the CG part of a That's game from the 1980s? <laughs> that was a very specific and accurate reference. <laughs> Come up with a catchier, more marketable name for the Bible. La Biblioteca, or 10 Ways to Live You'll Never Believe Number 6. All right, you can convince me if you tell me what the, ten the sixth commandment is. <laughs> I don't remember. The sixth commandment is uh, thou shalt not kill. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Yeah. Out of all. You'll never believe it because not a lot of people follow it. How many commandments can you name? Thou shall not uh, kill, kill thou steal, shot. covet wife, yeah, covet, covet wife. idol, the one with the idol. Oh, know, false idols. Or something. False yeah. idols, yeah. No, I must know more than four. This yeah. feels stupid, yeah. man. Kill, steal, covet wife. So I just looked it up here. So the first one is, you shall n False have no idols. other gods before me. Yeah, me okay. Yeah. And then, and then Can you the have second... gods after him? First, yeah, sometimes well, not at all. <laughs> so, so, but then the other thing is, it, number two is, you shall not make for yourself an idol in the form of anything. You're really kind of driving that point home. Yeah, yeah, you, the jealousy. But you know yeah. that, like, the money guy was in the back, like, no, nah, come on, nine commandments. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Ten commandments is easier to sell. <laughs> you have to honor your neighbor, too? Do you have to not worship your neighbor before God? I think that's implied in Commandments uh, 1 and 3. It's like exactly the right amount of reverence you should have for your neighbor, no more, no less. Uh, there were originally 15 commandments. Did they make other commandments to repeal the former commandments? Thou shalt not use I Joker Man show. font. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, this is from a Mel Brooks movie. Okay, I see. Something would be fun to watch ride an elevator. A killer whale or a slinky? <laughs> yeah. Okay, Ryan. <laughs> Did I say the word elevator. wrong? Escalator. You guys like escalators? Yeah. Not. Well, I like the middle part. The end and the beginning are scary. Really? No, yeah, because you could get mashed up into like string potato meat. Yeah. Did I tell you guys I was on an escalator and the nightmare that I thought never actually happened happened to me where my shoelace got sucked no. into the... <laughs> it, it, pardon me, it was like less than two months ago. Did you rock it out of your shoe like No, look, like, well, here's what happened. It was like, it, you know, it's got a little plastic nib at the end of your shoelace. It sucked that in and without it ever passing by the processing part of my brain, straight through the spinal cord, it just sent a message that was like, kick your leg as hard as you can. And I kicked and it like snapped the shoelace in half and I just kept walking. And then I was like, holy fuck. <laughs> See, I, I never understood that because surely you can't be horribly murdered by an escalator like that, right? But your, your foot could get mangled before anybody hits the button. I guess so. Yeah, you but I mean, you could just have take a fail your shoe off, right? Yeah, Do like, they have I, a fail safe? I mean, I'm sure. Too, because no, where, are all the news stories, person where are all the news stories of kids that's getting their shoes stuck in escalators? That's what I'm They're saying. Who has the last time you watched the news? <laughs> a rejected name for a ship in the U.S. naval fleet. The USS Wife Coveter or the USSSS Otta? No! <laughs> I had it my own little kind of like Larry David moment. Because Kate and I have this recurring joke whenever we take the Sky Train. Like 80% of the time, the escalators are under repair. Like, uh, in, 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 to the point where I, like, get off the SkyTrain and I'm like, yep, middle escalator's out again, third time this week. We went uh, to one of the biggest SkyTrain stations in Vancouver yesterday. You're not going to believe it. The stairs were out of order. And there what? was a dude, like, <laughs> repairing the stone on the steps. And I said, that's the first fucking time I've ever seen that. <laughs> I knew the escalators could break down. But the stairs is, like, next level. That's hilarious.
The name of the worst baby doll. Shrimp on the Barbie or Baby Shoots Me? <laughs> you know what's really fun? Are those walkways that are just level escalators. They should oh, add yeah. them everywhere. Like, I like them like, a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Just put them in New York. Replace hey. the sidewalks. Just make them all those speed rails. Yeah. Have you ever anticipated walking onto one of those, then saw a cluster of people going on and said, no, I can do better, and stayed off it, only to immediately regret your decision? You yeah, because they it. fucking yeah. fly by you. Have you ever, like, tried to run on those things? Because you feel like the Flash. It's amazing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's so I do cool. that at the airport all the time. Like, I'm like, yeah. I'm going to get the, I'm a single traveler. I'm going to get the customs before these people. And then they're, like, going up the escalator and I'm carrying my luggage and we're on exactly the same pace. So did we get any of those escalator uh, maintenance people in chat that can confirm that there is no way to get mangled? Because, like, I know you can, but, like, I want to know you've done better by now. I have, like, a conspiracy that... Like, right, the mayor of Vancouver's wanted. son okay, is, like, he owns an escalator repair company. It's the only plausible explanation. Otherwise, escalators are fucking horrible. They they seem to break down, like, three times a week. I thought they'd keep Wait. Santa Claus awake at night. His struggle with type 2 diabetes. Will he ever find himself? I have to do another damn Christmas tonight. Or what Mrs. Claus gets up to with all those Elva. Elva? <laughs> they are Elva. So I'm looking, so someone linked, like, escalator deaths, and yeah. I'm, I'm looking at them. Is it just one pictures of, them... of ground beef? Because that's what I anticipate. <laughs> well, no, because so one of them is somebody, I mean, sadly, yes, of course, but uh, fell through a hole and underneath the escalator and oh got crushed God. to death, and that, that sucks. <laughs> Wait, what? Fell? Th Where was the hole? Through a hole? I don't know. It was in China, so, I, you know. I, uh, I don't know. Well, let's just say safety regulations aren't exactly mm. top priority in that country. Um, one person fell off a handrail, so that's... Oh, well. Another person error. attempting to slide down. Yeah. Fell to his death after losing his balance on an escalator. So, yeah, I, I don't see any grind, grinding people up, though. Do you think the people that do the thing where they lay flat on the two different escalators and spin in circles, do you think that the guard should come and force them through the escalator to be mangled? <laughs> <laughs> it's over. Maybe that's a bit harsh, huh? No, dude, I agree. <laughs> Same thing happens at the airport sometimes. You'll be like on one of the fast walkways, and kids will be like trying to run in the opposite direction on the walkway. And I'm like, this is a lawless land, my child. <laughs> you might want to keep a low profile here. You know what I, I'm actually still irrationally scared of is elevators. Yeah, I was still? for a long time. They're Anytime I go up a you. fast elevator, I'm like, oh, well, I guess this is the end. <laughs> like, if I go up a regular elevator, you know, like, it's like a four-story building, I'm like, oh, this is fine. There's no way this can break. But when you get on, like, like a skyscraper elevator and it's, like, powering up, <laughs> I'm like, all right, I'm out, I'm out, that's it. I'm well, dead. Yeah, you I must have told you, but, like, in the, the elevator in Tokyo Tower, which is built in, like, 1955, um, when you go up, there's a robot voice that goes, do not be alarmed if you hear a loud cracking sound. And, okay, sure. I'm going, like, 200 stories up in this elevator that was built, you know, around the same time that, you know, lead was discovered. <laughs> Kate told me that China banned hip-hop last week. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. All right. In other news, uh, I'm moving to China. <laughs> China's pretty dystopian, as far as, uh, as far as I've heard. Some bad stuff going on over there. Maybe you can build your own iPhone out of parts you buy at the market. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that's 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 good. Yeah. Do you Rob. guys have trouble with glass bottom elevators? Because there was one of those Ooh. at the Guinness plant, and it was actually pretty mm. cool. But I'm usually scared. That... Of... Glass bottom lifts you make the <laughs> Oh, Okay. You know what kind of elevators I don't like still is is the ones where you can't feel yourself going up. Okay, it's like mm. they're, like the um, the one in, in the time building where Champions of Fire was was like that. Yeah, where where like it, you know I, I assume okay, they made it designed it in that way so that you wouldn't feel it, but it was terrible because it just it just felt weird. The best line to say when you come out of a ten year coma: Did the Patriots lose or can't wait to finally hear Ryan's diss track? <laughs> it's gotta be soon. I mean, how long could it possibly take to write one song? 
<laughs> yeah, I've been stuck in elevators before. You ever watch a Black Mirror episode and go like, yeah, but like maybe if they did it right, that would be sweet? Yeah, like those uh, social scores where mm -hmm. you get um, through the, yeah, yeah, you could totally do that, right? I mean, if you're well, an asshole, it sucks. <laughs> I think what you want is to get a discount on buying a house for having a really high subscriber number on you. Yeah! Right, yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> Sleepwalking can be a problem, but it's not as bad as sleeping with your stepsister or sleep sucking. You know, because you didn't go all the way and say sister, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm voting for sucking. <laughs> no balls, streamer. So you're saying this is a consequence for incest zone for you? <laughs> I'm just saying that's, that's the, you either go all the way with the joke, or you, you, no half measures is all I'm saying. Yeah. No. Fuck. I won. <laughs> <laughs> that could be its own prompt. Blanking with your stepsister. <laughs> isn't there a, isn't there a company called ING or ING or whatever? Yeah, ING Direct. Save what happened, your yeah. money. Enemy from Metroid Prime 2. Dude! Okay, so one thing, oh, okay. Did you guys watch the Super Bowl? <laughs> no. Rob. Rob. Okay, well, anyway, the there was one commercial at the Super Bowl that really, like, grinded up my gears. So, it was like a bunch of people, it was like a montage of a bunch of people, and they were playing a Martin Luther King speech. Oh, the Dodge background. commercial. Oh, uh, I heard about yeah. this. Yeah. And, then, and, and, then they, and then they showed, like, the, the, you know, U.S. troops and stuff, and then at the end it just cuts to, it says just this ram. It's like, okay, you really fun. just, you just I'm broke the bank on just not night. giving a shit, I guess. <laughs> just a, to sell a, fucking a, cars. A catchy name for a sperm bank. Is this like, you, you, you're you looking for this, you're looking for semen flow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was looking for. Thoughts arrive, good thought, T-H-O-T-S, anyway. Black butterflies. How do those commercials get You're through? You're not gonna read mine. <laughs> the Dough Factory. Okay. <laughs> like, how do those commercials get through that many people and no one goes, guys? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, hang on. Like, like this the is Pepsi awful. One. Yeah. Oh, you didn't see the commercial um, for Chevy where uh, Toby Keith showed up and blew the head off a kneeling NFL player, and then <laughs> <laughs> the smoke made a saluting soldier. You know, the, to, the, to your point though, that may, that makes me wonder, right? Like, are there ones that they just say like, "Oh, this is too much." We could we could go for the Martin Luther King and, and U.S. troops by Chevy or Ram trucks, but like, maybe this is too far. Although, like, half the commercials were like commercials for insurance and shit, and yeah. it was just like, wow, that industry is really. <laughs> I know it we shouldn't be a marketing industry. Is we, all we talked about yeah. earlier, but I don't understand commercials. Because like yeah. when there's commercials that are like, oh, we got a four-year, five hundred kilometer powertrain warranty. I go okay, yeah. but like I'll just look up on I'll Google who has the best warranty. Like I don't need you to tell me. And right. then the other side, I get even less, which is it just shows a dude like having fun while driving, and then they yeah. go like Mazda, and I'm like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know yeah. what what to take from that. Come up with a name for a fast food chain that only serves okay, rabbit meat. Hair in the box or hop along burger. Hop along little bird. My cat, dude, you are so annoying. Meow. Meow. I wonder why there isn't actually like some kind of rabbit fast food place. What doesn't taste that good? Rabbit, yeah. had rabbit is it's fine. expensive. Oh, that's why then. That's wow. you can't really farm rabbit, right? I mean, you can. You just put two rabbits in a field and have a hundred by the next day. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I was thinking because I thought it would be easy to get because they breed so Coming much, but next, maybe not. The title, the title of a college admission essay, essay that would definitely get rejected. rejected. Why I love Jordan B. Peterson, or why PhDs are meaningless. <laughs> that, you know what? Why PhDs are meaningless feels like that would be like the thesis uh, at the end of the movie, why, uh, God Isn't Dead. Um, oh! Right? I could totally see that. They kill off the atheist with a car, right? Do they? Well, so. God does. Yeah, right. <laughs> he smites him. Right. God told. The and then he goes, "God him. isn't dead, but you are, bitch." <laughs> and then when he like skirts, the it doesn't point. say skirt; it actually says Nietzsche. 
Dude, that'd be so funny if they made like a sequel. I know that they actually already did make a sequel, but it'd be great if they made another sequel where there's like a murder mystery from that car accident and it actually turns out Kevin Sorbo was driving the car. Oh, it's multiple atheists at once? I forgot, it's been years since I watched it. A was real... it like an atheist parade? A real weirdo would fall asleep to the sounds of my asshole or me. I'm Northern Lion. Wait a minute. That's... <laughs> That's not fair, you son of a bitch. So someone in my chat said that they had their shoe explode in one of the escalators. Was it one of the pumpables? Said my shoe exploded because it was a pair of Crocs, and since they're made of rubber garbage, pieces flew everywhere. Rubber refuse. Did you, like, <laughs> get your foot out of there in time? Jesus, like... Mm -hmm. They said they had a cut on their toe. Next one. Ah, I still I know, that. it's pretty That's terrifying. Close. That's yeah. not her name. Enough. For a corset. Breathtaking shirt or boob jail? <laughs> Is that a, that's a really old meme too, isn't it? <laughs> boob jail? Yeah. Slutter jail. Butter jail. There was butter jail. Yeah, I remember butter jail, but I feel boob like... Boob jail is an answer we've had to this prompt like three years ago. Yeah, that's what I was remembering. There's nothing wrong with Crocs. I don't care if you wear Crocs. It doesn't bother me. I just didn't realize what percentage of my audience was 55-year-old tourists. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it was a boob jail or a corset. <laughs> ah! Mm. Yeah, Crocs are weird. My old dentist used to wear Crocs, and now I don't go to that dentist anymore. Yeah, that's really. I don't want to see. That is strange. Did he wear socks and Crocs? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, well at least he was. That's better. Yeah. At least he wasn't rolling naked Crocs. <laughs> I don't want to see my dentist's yeah. toenails. I feel pretty weird about seeing raw foot under there. <laughs> I'd rather say cooked like foot. Ooh, the big crazy twist at the end of the next M. Night Shyamalan movie, he was blank the whole time. I unfollowed uh, Danny DeVito on Twitter because he just kept posting pictures of his feet all the time. And I was like, sure. He's in all the M&M's commercials now. The big crazy twist at the end of the, ex the next M. Night Shyamalan movie, he was Don't Hurt Me, I'm Ryan the whole time, Michael Bay the whole time, directing the whole time, or a good director the whole time. Oh, that's a twist. Yeah, that would be a real twist. How do you figure that out? My god, he was doing it all on purpose and not by accident this you entire know, time. There were originally 15 senses, and then M. Night Shyamalan took it down to six. There'd be like one key word or phrase that when he utters it will make sense in the context of each of the bad movies to make them all good at the same time. That would be brilliant. You guys see Split? Nah. People really liked it, but Split? I thought it was like... It's a movie about a banana? Okay. No, it's about a guy with split personality disorder. It's a movie oh. about blackjack. Well, there you got it all. Split was good. Split is amazing. It was meh IMO. Yeah. That's all the triality of chat. I thought it was okay to not very good. You know what was okay to not very good, though? The Cloverfield Paradox. Yeah, Let's see the I haven't final seen it. Score. Oh, don't tell me. I haven't watched it yet. Yeah, I watched it. Just like watch the last eight seconds of it. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, now that I've won, we can finish the show. <laughs> <laughs> is that what the rule was? That is the rule of me wanting to show up on time for my class, even though my class makes me angry. Why does it make you angry? Because the teacher never sh friggin' shows up on time. Don't tell them to fudge right off. I'm gonna yeah. when the course evals come out. I might use a stronger word than fudge. <laughs> <laughs> I might, oh, oh. I might say freak off. Okay, oh, that's warranted shit. in this case. Yeah, go so nuts. He's a zombie. He also does this thing, and I don't want to, you know, make this too much about me. But like, uh, he'll push like an update to the course at 5:59 when the course starts at six, and he'll be like, "So I hope you guys all had time to read the post I made." And everyone's like, "What? What are you talking about?" It was posted 45 seconds ago. So, like, yeah, just go check that out. Oh, God damn it. Hey, guess what? What? You still here? No, I gotta poop. See you guys later. Nice. Dude, I don't want to alienate any sponsors, uh -huh. but I took a shit this morning. <laughs> I took a fucking wicked shit this morning. Nice. And it was... The, the poop itself was so hard. Oh, okay, I'm out of here. That I yeah. felt like it actually tore something coming out. It's like, oh, that that can happen, you know. And you then I looked. Your butthole? Then I looked oh. in the toilet, and I was like, that's not big enough to be that deadly. 
Yeah. You have an incredible amount of sensitivity in your butthole, so you probably thought it felt bigger than it was. My butthole? Uh, apparently it's because of Disgaea, actually. Not well, I didn't play Disgaea yesterday, so it can't be no, because of that. So no. <laughs> yeah, Disgaea makes your shit hard. Uh, I actually need to poop as well. I'm gonna do yeah, why, why are we... I want to poop, but I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared well, I mean, maybe I need to hold it in for a while so I can no. heal. No joke. If you, if you did stretch too far and you you could get like a little tiny cut on your butt, hole. a micro tear. Yeah, and it hurts like hell to poop. You know afterwards. what's super weird to think about? Uh huh. If you got like a cut on the inside of your butthole, okay, it's gonna heal, but it, it's not like you can sterilize it. Like it's gonna be submerged in shit all the right. time. Yeah. Put a band aid on it. People die from that, right? They get like sepsis or whatever. Why are we doing this? Cause like my my poop was like a friggin' diamond, man. <laughs> Tell That's us what... once we're not online. You know what? It looked like um in like anime when a dude's arm pops off and then he gets like a like a prototype arm. It was crazy. What? What does that have to do with anything? It was like all noduled and. Oh, you're saying your shit looked like a prototype arm. Yeah. It looked like something a cat threw up. It was like all, like, like moon surface. It, uh. exact, it was like a meteorite. <laughs> it was like I got hit by a meteorite straight in my anus. And it Were had to... you standing outside with your mouth open a lot? Yeah. Mm, well, me and, my, me and my buddy Elon, we went for a drive yesterday, and... Uh, I did have my mouth open a lot. Yeah, so you went for a drive with Elon, you had your mouth open, this is what happened. You caught a meteorite and you just shit it out just now. Ah, that explains it. That could You're do fine. it. Uh, anyway. Just, you know, check your butthole out, I guess. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I go to the doctor.